It's a very crowded space. We think none of them really provide the true utility of a great workout that a personal trainer will provide. And so that's why we started at the very top. We got individuals a great workout. We can easily move downstream, add motivation, add social and your friends aspects to keep you accountable and allow you to post your accomplishments to make sure that we reach that growth that we'd like to reach, giving everyone a great workout. And that's the interesting part is you're using machine learning and some data science and looking at what people have done already in the app to give them their next set of workouts. And that's a very hard thing to communicate to people who are uh, have been burned by investing in three or four fitness apps or having friends who've invested in them and not one, they, they think, oh, well, this has been done before. But what they don't realize is that how you do something and how, you, uh, how well you do something can be the big difference. If something is ranked by consumers as a seven or an eight in terms of how likely they are in mm -hmm. Net Promoter Score to tell their friends, guess what? That is scored as indifferent. A seven or eight on the scale is indifferent. If you get into the nine, 10, which say Calm or Uber or Thumbtack, uh, or Wealthfront, or Robin, and all of those companies, and Tesla and Apple, all have nines and tens when people mm -hmm. say, how likely are you to recommend this product to one of your friends? I really believe FitBot is in that nine, 10 category because if you use it, and I used it, you really can't shut up about it because it really does work that much better, which it really speaks to craftsmanship mm -hmm. and being a craftsperson and really having uh, a not stopping iterating when you're 70 or 80%. Having a seven or eight out of 10 means people will be indifferent, but having a nine out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, which I think you accomplished on your own, cash efficiently, makes it viral. Has that been your experience? Yeah, definitely. So that was our real focus, was getting our users to love us. And that's not why like. we- Not like, to love. We, we were really careful about responding to each feedback email individually to to understand our project roadmap, to put in everything that they want. How long did it take for you to listen to people and how many months and what month did it tip over from like to love? Oh, we're still doing it. I mean, we're, we're not okay, stopping. Okay, but with, with some group feedback. of people, when do you feel it happened? How many months of iteration did it take to have the majority of people using it, you know, paid people to say, hey, you know what? I, I love this. I don't just like it. I'm not giving it a seven or eight, but we start seeing those nines and tens. To be honest, you speak of craftsmanship and craftspersonship, and Jetsy, I think, is an amazing designer. He created an amazing app. So right off the bat, we had people that said they loved it. And the every look email, and feel was very nice. Very nice. And every email that we received was, I love this app. I wish it did something else. Ah. And that's how we were able to understand what features we needed to incorporate into the app. Hey everybody, I'm super excited about our latest partner on This Week in Startups. It's called Cisco Spark. From Cisco, you know Cisco, of course you know Cisco. Cisco Spark is a new meeting platform and a communication platform for teams. And we're using it here at This Week in Startups and it is life changing. It can make working together so easy, so pleasant. And in this package, for one low price of free, you get, yes that's right, free, you get video meetings, team messaging, like chat, you know how that works, digital whiteboarding, and we're going to get into that in a minute, file sharing and calling, all of this together in one secure app that works on any of your devices, Android, tablet, iPad, iPhone, desktop, you get the idea, and it's the fastest way to host and join meetings, and it works with industry-leading video systems like, ah, yes, the Cisco Spark Board. I have the Cisco Spark Board, and this is a touch-based, all-in-one device where literally I click and I say, everybody who's in this room, you know, like a chat room, everybody in this Cisco Spark room, I want you to join this video conference. Somebody could be at home, another person could be in a hotel or on the road, on their phone, on the BART. Two people could be in a New York office, two people could be in the San Francisco office. All of a sudden, we're all in one space on the Cisco Spark board with all of our files from that chat room and we can then pick an image like we did for the launch festival and start drawing on it and saying, hey, let's move these tables here. It is amazing. And the Cisco Spark board comes in 55 inches or 70 inches. It's kind of like an all-in-one touchscreen whiteboard camera with amazing microphones where if you're in the back of the room, it picks you up perfectly. And the video quality, it makes you feel like you're in the same room 
without having to spend what used to be, I think, a quarter million dollars or $50,000 to outfit a room. You can now do it for low thousands of dollars. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I love my Cisco Spark Board. And on this very program, This Week in Startups, we're going to start putting Cisco Spark Boards in other cities so that entrepreneurs and investors from, say, New York, Los Angeles, maybe London, Berlin, uh, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Seoul, can then video conference into the show. And we can start doing remotes with startups from around the world. How exciting is that? All powered by Cisco Spark and the Cisco Spark board. If you want to see all this exciting stuff and try the software, go to ciscospark.com, ciscospark.com to learn more and sign up for free. Thanks for joining the team, Cisco. Let's get back to this amazing program. (laughs) 